Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about how can we create a PHP file which connect to this online database and then how can we publish this file on the web server. So if we go here and inside our website in the source file, we are going to create a new PHP web page and let's call this web, web page for example test.php and let's click on finish so we have created a PHP file called test now here on our database we are going to the web admin so we can access our database and let's create a simple table inside our database online web Let's call this table, for example, as student and with three columns and click go. And let's add three columns to this table like ID, name and marks. And let's change the name to varkar with 50 for example and click on save so now we have created a table with three columns which are id name and marks so how can we add some data inside this table just click on insert and let's add for example id number one with name for example like jane and mark like 85 Another one with two name like Omar and marks like, for example, 90 and click on go. Now let's check our table student. Okay. As you can see here, we have two rows. How can we retrieve those two rows from our PHP file? So here now, let's start with our connection, my scale i, and let's add the four parameter. The four parameter, which is the server name. From where we can get our server name, this is our server name. We can get it from here, from GoDaddy. So just take this number, copy, and paste it here. And what is the username? As you remember in the previous video, the username was Yazan Web, which is here, Yazan Web. And the password, we have created a password like Yazan Web 2018. And then what's the database name, which is online web, the database name, which is online web. So this is the connection. Now, the code which we are going to write now, it is the same code we have created in the fifth part when we connect our PHP file to database. So here we are going to add statement, connection, prepare, for example, select star from student, then we are going to execute this code now let's return the data to the rs using the get result and at last let's make some loop for the rows to print all the data so here fetch associative and then let's write something like echo row id with br okay let's copy this line let's change it here to name and the last one to marks so here this code should read the data from the online database let's run this file to see the result 
run file okay let's add our port number 8080 yes as you can see here we have got the data from the online server now how can we upload this PHP file to our server when we go back to our server to this page there is two options one of them is a database which have been used for creating database and another one which is file manager click on the file manager now to upload your pages just click here on upload file and let's select our file from C WAMP64 www express order and it is called test so yes here it is so let's select this page okay now this page has been published online how can we check we have here a domain name which is the name of your website if we copy this one and go here and let's write something like pioneeracademyproject.com slash test.php so you should write your domain name slash your page name so it is online now so it will take some time but at last it will give the same result which is id name and marks for all the students so in this video i have seen you how can you publish your pages on your online server i hope you enjoy this course i hope to see you in other courses and if you have any question just send this question to the qa for you i hope to see you in next courses goodbye